Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Bonsert of Radio Red for Future, and today I am playing They Are Billions, a new steampunk-inspired RTS, which is a zombie survival RTS. Really interesting concept. It's currently in early access, version 05.0, and recently they released a new update. It includes a Spanish language option. Um, Options, really bare right now, uh, windowed mode, full borders, those windows always nice. Uh, lock mouse cursor, no idea what that does. Uh, V-Sync, uh, grass quality. Right, let's try high, let's see what that does. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I used to control it with the arrow keys, which is really annoying, but now I can use... WASD, so that's really nice. A lot of RTS games that have that won't allow you to change that, but fortunately they did. And now the attack command is Q. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I hope they customize more of the keyboard items. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it only has survival mode currently. I, I don't really know if they're intending to make a, uh, a, a full campaign, I expect so, but currently we have survival mode, which in this case means we have to survive for 120 days. 120 days is one of the easy options, you can also customize the amount of zombies that are on the map and will be engaging you, but now I'm playing on really easy because I really wanted to make this video, but this game is hard. It's not the most accessible games. Uh, when it comes to difficulty. Kind of unfortunate, but yeah, the word survival RTS says it all, doesn't it? Uh, one of the things is that you're not allowed to save. You only get an auto save for in case the game crashes, but yeah, <laughs> there is no mercy. So if you make a mistake, you will be punished. Yeah, so welcome to my settlement. Um, you start with this, this building right here, the command center. If it gets destroyed, you're done. Um, you lose the game. And um, now this is very easy, so there are not that many zombies, but you get uh, harassed by wandering zombies very quickly and then there are waves, and right now we're on day 65, and I expect another attack at day 70, which will be a lot larger than any of the other previous attacks. So, what what is this game? Well, as you can see, you might notice all the walls I have built. Um, as the entire map will be filled with zombies. Lots and lots of zombies. Like I said, this is the easiest difficulty right now. I play with the lowest amount of zombies so I can make this video. Um, but expect there to be a lot of zombies. You wouldn't believe the entire map is grey with them. So you have to build also a lot of walls to keep all those zombies out. Because you are... The, you have a population limit. You have these uh, buildings right here. You've got a cottage here. Um, you start off with... Do I have another tent? I do not have another tent. You start off with these tents. You can upgrade the tents to cottages, which uh, will have more population. And you finally have these stone houses. Um, of course, they also have more hit points, which is a good thing. You see that yellow bar over there in all these houses. Uh, if that yellow bar gets depleted, the house gets infected by zombies, in which case the entire population of this house, which is 16 in its current moment, will be turned into zombies and you have another additional 16 zombies to fight. The same goes for farms like these here. 12 people are working. Um, if this farm gets attacked and gets infected, you'll have another 12 zombies to worry about. So, yes, you have uh, your wooden gates to defend your settlement with in the beginning. Uh, you can build wooden towers. I've got two soldiers in these right now. You can put four soldiers into these buildings. Um, here we have a sniper. A very slow firing unit, uh, but has a long range and kills most zombie types in one shot. Any orders? Here we have a soldier. Um, 
your run-of-the-mill unit takes one iron to produce. It has a kind of a submachine gun, fires quickly, medium range. Uh, your run-of-the-mill infantry. And let's see if I have... If I can locate a ranger. I think I had some. Yeah, we've got uh, one of these wonderful ladies right here. This right here is a yes. ranger. You and are going to pay me for this, right? Yeah, they are fast-moving, slightly longer-range units. Also, zombies are not attracted by them when they move that much, unlike the much more clunkier soldiers. Commander, at your service. Uh, the voice acting of the units is nice, uh, kind of corny, but to be honest, ah, here we have uh, a group of soldiers. At your service. You can see the uh, bit of a cartoony style, but I like it. I like the, the strong contrasts. We have. Some uh, males. Uh, here we've got a female colonist. Uh, yeah, basically uh, going around their business. Ah, and here we have a Lucifer. A oh, very big daddy like, and that's probably no coincidence. Uh, you can clearly see where the game got all its inspiration from. Um, yeah, well, more about the units a little later. Let's look at the rest of the economy. So you start off with a command center. And to expand your building sites, you need to construct these Tesla towers. And they will, you'll see all these squares light up. That's the area in which I can build. Uh, for example, let me expand my research. Let's build some stake traps. Uh, these do damage to under zombies attack. that walk over them. Uh, very useful. Uh, of course, we also have defensive towers. This is a shocking tower, which allows uh, to do a lot of damage to a larger group of zombies. Of course, its range is rather limited. We also have ballista towers. Uh, rapid firing ballista it's okay and as you can see I also constructed walls around all these towers including the Tesla towers I noticed uh, later on in the game when these towers get taken out by the zombies when they get infected the zombies until now uh, don't really destroy the buildings they infect them um, so once you defeated all the zombies and the area is clear around them, you can simply repair them. We have these very handy repair all button. And you can see these buildings were damaged, now they have these purple bars that indicate how damaged they are. So yeah, I built walls around them now with the hope building of uh, preventing infection of my building. Um, if this test, yeah, that was what I wanted to say. If these Tesla towers get taken out, uh, these defensive buildings will lose power, and uh, yeah, my defenses are utterly useless. Um, of course, buildings require power, so you can build things like these mills. Uh, this is an advanced one, meaning that it has been upgraded. Um, you can also build these power plants later on. I think research them at research buildings. This is the foundry. This is the third research tier, so to speak. Um, the only downside to these power plants is they require wood and stone. Apart from also requiring a significant workforce. Well, you can re acquire said stone from these patches here. Uh, right now, uh, I have no. Oh, wait, I can. Uh, Mine some gold here. Always nice to have some gold. Um, I can. Unfortunately, I have no building space. Oh, wait, no, I don't have enough gold to build that. Yeah. So, the idea is you've got this is iron, uh, this is stone. It's not tapped yet. Here we have a quarry. You see this green area around it. That's the area that it is mining. Um, however, I cannot build another mine in this area. So the other mine has to be built here, from here like that. Yeah. Let's see if I can demonstrate. Yeah. Oh wait, I can actually build a, a mine here to block that gate. Not necessarily a problem. 
but let's see how much yeah I only get three stones in that so we'll be building a quarry here let's destroy it again right there and let's replace it with a gate so we can get through there we go so yeah space is a big issue in this game it's one of your chief challenges is to expand your area in a way that you get a chance to um, clear the unit um, I don't know where the next wave of zombies come from the problem with these tell me Lucifer units is they are slow moving um, but I want to clear right. this area here create some uh, more living space some Lebensraum Tents here, these barren earth. The, the green patches are grass where you can place your farms uh, to produce food, which you need to expand your population. Um, as you can see, I now have too little food, so either I have to build, let's see, I can build hunters' cottages uh, next to forests or on green fields. Also possibly. Okay. Now that's good. There we go. And as you can see, I cannot build any more cottage, uh, any more cottages in between them because, just like the quarry, they have this this green area surrounding them. Um, ten, ten, eleven. There we go. And also, I can build fishermen's huts. Go. So now I have the game pause. And one of the benefits of building when the game is paused, you can actually correct your your building decisions. Like this one here, it will produce more food. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, if you unpause it and you want to demolish a building, it will cost you resources. So something to take into account this is a game that uh, demands you to play a certain way and that's probably one of my, my biggest criticisms Building completed. Um, just like those Lucifer units in order to defeat day, to survive day 70 um, at least in, in the uh, medium difficulty you need to have those Lucifer units or have sufficient defensive towers otherwise you will not be able to so it demands you to construct everything in a certain way. Now, they, I know they are making changes to the difficulty and the, the accessibility of the game. So that might change, but in its current form, uh, yeah, you need to obey the rules of the game. So let's uh, start building some units. So we have two buildings that can produce units. One of them is the Soldier Center. I will construct two snipers, a sniper and two soldiers. Our defenses uh, are being attacked. Founder, that's a research center. Excuse me. Um, ah, yes, yeah, the engineer center. There we go. Good. Let's get some units here. Fortunately, those. Oh. Got any orders? Let's go. The soldier can suck in the wall. Oh wow. I think I might actually require a little more support. Fortunately I have two walls there. You can have have a lot of walls. You really cannot. Um, this particular let's see, where was it? Yeah. This particular bit of wall saved me from losing this game. Uh, because I uh, I wasn't paying attention, pretty much like uh, the way I'm not paying attention now. At your service. Uh, walls are under attack. The zombies were taking over these buildings, were infecting them. More zombies came out of them. So you can imagine three zombies walking in, minding their own business, looking at oh look a building to infect. They infect it. Six more zombies come out. 16, 20, 24, and yeah, we're like 60 zombies wandering all over the village. Like it was nobody's business. Before you know it, you lose the game. 
And yes, I lost the game through to one zombie bashing itself through a wall because I was not paying attention. Uh, yes, that's what I wanted to defenses. explain the resources. You've got this wonderful building you can research called the market. Where is it? There it is. As you can see, uh, it has a very large range and all these buildings get a small icon on top of it, which means they don't require as much food uh, as the buildings here do. Um, so very useful and also you can sell resources here but one of the wonderful traits I think about this particular building is that it sells excess resources automatically you can only store so many resources in order to expand that storage you can construct warehouses do the same thing to certain buildings here you've got an icon over these quarries farms cottages yeah, these units produce more resources uh, because, well, I guess they are they have more logistic support, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, also expand storage capacity, which is really important because, for example, I want to resource Titans. I never had these Titans, by the way. So I'm really curious to what they'll be. So yeah, it is a useful thing to invest in your economy. Attention. Building completed. Also, these mines produce slightly faster than the tax collection. Attention. Uh, this Building is completed. the process of the tax collection, so I'll get another influx of 400 gold. A horde of infected are on their way. Ah, see, they they're are coming from the, from the north. north. No, I expect they're world. coming here. Sometimes I miss those warnings. You see, it's it's on the corner. I, I have a big screen, so maybe that's also the reason why I'm missing. But I'm really focused on the building and all that good stuff. And then all of a sudden you get a message. But I miss it. Let's uh, put some stake traps over here. Not expecting much from there this round, but let's go with it. Okay. Oh. Yeah, they're coming from here. It's that little triangle right there. Death, lovely day. No, let's not. Did it just say lovely day? Still getting used to the new key controls. There we go. Yeah, now you can also see the uh, infected chubbies. Right there. And oh, no, my There we go. Send me in my Yeah, this is uh, what you can expect. This is this is easy by the way. Yeah, you can uh, see that my uh the units aren't doing much. Come on. Oh, wait, it's shooting through the wall. Is this is that the You can see they are uh, doing quite some damage. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna survive this yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, I've got some units. Yeah, the defense of the Ballista buildings do seem to work. Oh, they are, they stopped. I'm not sure if that's uh, an arrow or not, but yeah, maybe they just lost the momentum. See, the uh, Tesla tower is not working anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play of they are billions! While in the background my settlement is being consumed by a horde of zombies that's coming from all directions. Which is the infamous final wave. I do enjoy this game. I've been waiting for a good RTS to come out for a long, long time. It's the reason why I'm looking forward to Iron Harvest so much. Uh, so I hope to have a let's play of that in the future as well when it comes out. But right now I think this is a good RTS to bridge the gap till that time. 
Now it's still a diamond in the rough. I think the waves in the current form are a little too hard. It's a little bit too inaccessible. I mean, I've been playing RTSs since Command and Conquer, and <laughs> well, let me tell you, it's it's really hard. Um, one of the things I really hope they intend to do is to create unit upgrades, especially to increase the lifespan of certain units like soldiers, because they not only have submachine guns and just not as useful. So I hope they create some upgrades for these units like, I don't know, shotguns, get shorter range, but bigger attacks also will damage more zombies at the time. Just to name an example, maybe give the rangers explosive arrows or something. I think that will improve the gameplay. Right now, Day or Billions is in early access for 20 euros on Steam. I'm not sure when the full game will be released or what kind of features they intend to implement <laughs> till that time. But yeah, I, I like the survival mode even though I have not won a single game till now. It's one of those games that encourages you to improve your strategy. Um, my only concern, as I already said, is that right now the game forces you to play a certain way. It's like getting those Lucifers done on day 70 or, you know, focus more on those towers. It's my hope they improve on that. So yeah, let me know if you want me to review other older titles as well. But until then, I wish you a very happy new year. I'm sure there's plenty to look forward to in 2018. And as always, Make 2018 your way. At your service. Yeah, I'm not gonna survive. <laughs> But uh, I managed to save some parts of my colony this time. They are trying to break through. But, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I lost. <laughs>